fucking love this theme. I can't tell if I tried two, three, or four is my favorite variant of it. Ah, who cares? Welcome to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Arguably the best in the fucking series. I'd say no, but it's certainly second best. Or at least, I thought it was. I'll find out. By the time I do all them and decide my ranking. I'm just going to leave all this on. Same stats from the first game. I don't think I need to change any of this. Nope. It's the same stuff as the first game. Good stuff. A new game in the campaign on normal difficulty because we're just looking to have fun. Not looking to challenge myself or breeze through it. Now, 2 does, however, have the best opening in the series. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Already we have an improvement in graphics. Holy shit, he looks good. What's going on? That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Hey, it's a yellow bar, that means it's climbable. <clears throat> oh crap, I'm deep, but goddamn, look at that set piece. Ah, go left. Yep. Here we go. Ow. Dynamic. Yeah, I know how to jump. I just completed the first game. A few hours ago. <clears throat> okay. I'm liking this. Straight away. Naughty dog have me. Enthralled. <clears throat> what the fuck even is this, man? Oh, I'm grabbing out of that. Fuck my hands. Watch yourself, Nate. Careful, careful. Uh oh. Ooh. Shiza. Alright. <clears throat> Just claim the tree. All you gotta do is. Oh, 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 fuck. Claim the train. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Shit, was that gunshots? Nope, just my sneezing. Up you get me, and now we need to fucking run. Get up and run. Get up and slowly walk. Get up and run. 
And now I run in. Oh. That may crack and you may fall again, man. Moody cook. So he's in a mood. He's not having a good time. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! Who the fuck is this the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not <clears> going <throat> to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone, it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. She just gave him a look. We'll figure it out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what <coughs> is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's... Why we tracked you down? Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, that guy's eyeing Nate. <clears throat> I am now covered in snow. This is what could go wrong, I guess. Ooh, that's a big old trait. That's a that's a fucking huge what? That's gonna be multiple trains, right? Because that is one big fucking train. Alright. Looking for treasure around. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Tell me I didn't just see what I thought. Oh, I did. 
stray away. A treasure. Wrathful deity statue. Panther butt. Neat. Pretty decent snow graphics. And it leaves a trail. Ish. Yeah, he does. That's pretty solid. Alright, let's not go through there then. I'm not stupid. Tell me there's not another treasure just around here. There's not another treasure just around here. Got that one. Is there a run button yet? Is it A? Time to dodge. Nice. Oh. How many times have I seen this happen in the fucking game? Since then. Just trying to fit through that tight. Wait. Enter. Oh, hello. 92FS. Good to have a gun. In we go. Nothing to the left. Everything to the right. Oh, some ammo. Lovely. We can get past 60 now. Uh -huh. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Yep. I don't know how to aim and shit, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. Same buttons, lovely. He's alive. Holy fuck! Karma's a bitch. Indeed. Okay, so we go up to seventy-five bullets. Fifteen increase. That's pretty damn good. <coughs> yeah, I don't know why you thought that'd be a good idea, Nate. That gon' fucking hurt. I mean, it worked, to be fair, so that's why it was a good idea, but still. Ow. Oh. That heroic chest first jump. Lovely. Once again, just weird camera angles. I like it, though. I'll get used to it. Oh, hello. Ow. We're not falling again, are we? Yep, probably. Jeff, what? No, thank fuck. Knocked out. Um, okay, and now we're flashing back to the start again. What kind of watch is that? It's a wristband watch? He's got a fucking Ben 10 watch! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking piss off. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. Find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. 
He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Mm, I don't. Weird ass looking wave formation there. Uh, wake up. <clears throat> Some of her voice just makes me think, okay, she's probably a bad guy. I don't think she is, but like... Make that jump. Yep. All sorts of pain. Clearly the best thing to do is to jump for it. Gotta admire the fucking muscles in a man like this. To be able to fucking climb like that. Like, holy shit. <clears throat> yep, there you go. Straight into the snow. Lovely. Boom, 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 boom. Wonder what happened to Elaine and Sully then, since they're not nice. Or not here, really. And thing. A uh, sacrificial dagger? Or a key? Dagger? It's a bit thick to be a dagger. Yeah, it's some sort of key. Oh, Istanbul, four months earlier. Okay. No, the you sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. I'm going to go a bit further forward. No? Okay. Strong boy. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. <laughs> There. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Hmm. Sure, you know where you're going, don't I? Always. Me and my Baruski. Uh, shit. What was his name? It wasn't Rafe. I don't know. Why I keep thinking the word Rafe. Is Rafe a character in four? Maybe. Shit. What's his name? Don't you love the Flame. way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Hmm. 
It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? I wonder if we'll see him in the movie. This guy. Probably not. But maybe. It seems that they're going completely alternative with oh, the movie. Wait. Like it'll be just its own it's thing entirely. Right. It won't be connected to the game. Must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. I fucking. Oh, right, okay. That makes more sense. I was about to say, how the fuck are you gonna yeet me up out there? Here it comes. Thanks. Can I climb up this? Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. We're good. Hmm. Another boost. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, yeah, what? what are you doing back there, mate? Wow, very stylish. Nice. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. Uh huh. I just need to figure out how to wall jump more efficiently. And I'll be right with you. Alright. This is the way to the courtyard. Ha. Treasure. A weird blue pin thing. Nice. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. Um, triangle here. You got it. All right. Happy hop and jump. Nice. Now we have swinging bars. I think it swam for a couple things in the last game, but not to the extent you can in this one. Lovely. Ooh. Nondescript guard. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? Huh. It seems to maybe stopped thieving after the first game's events. Some sort of ring. Nifty. locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's nuisance last time. Oh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. Hmm. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Follow the thing. Here it is. I found it. And just flip this big thing down. There. That ought to do it. Simple. Right, we're in. Damn, he's fucking quick with that. Very quick. Shit. So speciously quick. What the fuck? Alright.
Did he just flick the back of his head? that gate over there thank you for telling well, us the plan there. Nate oh. <clears throat> mate you wanna Nate can you can you okay we've got to get up to that balcony yeah, I know. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Gece vardiyasında çalışmaktan nefret ediyor. I've got the other one. Haklısın abi. Hiçbir şey olmuyor. Alrighty. Oh, more guards. Come on, what are you waiting for? Mate, I'm ahead of you. Okay, we're almost there. I'll go right, and you go left. Slip tight. Damn, he must be quick with his fucking fists, huh? Nope, okay, can't climb that. Can I climb this? Nope. But can I Batman? What the fuck's Ray? Uh. Flynn. Where's Flynn? A Batman and all up on this bitch. Can I drop and knock him out? Uzakta dur. Hey, there he is. Perfect timing, Flynn. Time to get a fuck out of here. Can we lift this? Alarm. Okay. We should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. <laughs> Lazy prick. Follow the way. All right. Okay. Why do you climb up this? <laughs> Quiet. Okay. It's off. Well, that's the canonical ending. I'll see you next episode.